at one point did I consider Mark Meadows as my biggest enemy in Washington, D.C. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so, it's pretty interesting that he's in charge right now. Um, he, he's, a chief, he's a chief of staff. He has an associate's degree. He started a restaurant. And then he got in the real estate business. And you can say, well, he's a great businessman. It's like, well, Florida real estate business in the 90s. Yeah, um, it's kind of like California real estate business in the 90s. Don't have to be a genius, just have to own a lot of real estate. Um, but it doesn't mean he's not very, 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 very smart. And um, my dad doesn't have a regular college degree. But here's the thing. I'm running for president and I have a master's degree and I have a degree in business and that's like management, uh, a management degree. And I wouldn't want to be chief of staff because I don't think that I am the guy to be a chief of staff. I think I'm more of a president than a chief of staff because a chief of staff should be someone with a project management degree. Like it, they should be a PMP. PPMP? What is it called? I don't know. Project PMP. Project management professional. Um and they should probably have an MBA, but it's, it's more that they should know everyone in Washington, DC, and they should almost have a legal degree. It should be, it's like someone that is very detail oriented, that has a great bullshit detector, that has an MBA and a law degree, that's who should be chief of staff, ideally. But they should also, uh, should also know people. Yeah, that painting, I was trying to paint something that's not um, overwhelming for once. I was like, I just wanted something like elegant, but I, I think I'm going to overwhelm it now. I just, I, 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 I'm, I, I, I'm just trying out this other style anyways. So, um, my, uh, I'm still painting huge paintings that are way different than that. Um, all right. So Mark Meadows, I understand why Trump would like him. He wrote a book about Trump Republicans. And then he also, um, is a real estate guy and he's a Florida guy but I'm also thinking I mean why would Trump not have someone who is a very the chief of staff is a Harvard type job um, because you want someone that's gonna make sure that you dot all the I's and cross all the T's like, but you don't have to have a Harvard person I mean there are a million schools Carnegie Mellon and um, Dartmouth and and there's Stanford and there's Caltech and there's MIT and and it's it's what I'm talking about is someone that um, is an overachiever who um, has has a lot of degrees. Anyways, I don't understand why Mark Meadows is chief of staff, but um, I know I just came out in support of Donald Trump and I'm I'm in support of the stock market and. The reason I supported the stock market is because I believe that Donald Trump is going to save the banks. Um, but then I'm also sitting there going, like, what do you do about, what is the truth about the stock market? You want to know the real truth? The truth is that I've been talking about it for a long time, that um, the Obama stock market was massively leveraged, which means that people were taking out massive loans to buy stock. And they were buying massively leveraged ETFs. And that means that they were like um, taking loans to buy groups of stock. So they weren't even thinking about which stocks they own. They were just kind of buying, oh, everything in this, I'll buy that. Um, so, but they were all, but more than anything, they were leveraged ETFs. And so um, what happens when you have massive amounts of leverage in your stock market, which we have had it for a very, very long time, is that it explodes. And a lot of people make a lot of money. And they've, a lot of people have made so much money um, through leveraging um, le leverage purchases that they don't need to be in right now and that's that's the reality about people that have made so much money um, going along le leveraged um, and I talked about it during the Obama administration a lot I was like slow and steady wins the race you guys need to like chill things out a little bit because 
someday you might need to you have those tools available to you, but they continue to keep interest rates super low. And I was like, dude, the, the economy's fine. Like you need to raise interest rates a lot and you need to continue raising interest rates. And they didn't want to do that. <clears throat> so now Trump ended up in the situation where he has to find a way to put his foot on the gas even more. And at some point, like the gas starts to go teeter a little bit. Um, and so that's the reality about the stock market. So when I tried to get everyone to get back in the stock market, do I feel bad about it? Yeah, but do I actually think it's kind of patriotic that you could stay in? Yeah, but I'm also not um, a retirement age person, which is my parents, and they're still in. And it's just like, and that, but, but like, I feel like a lot of people have no choice but to be in because like, if it, like with a 401k, you, you can't like just pull it out unless you're retirement age, right? Can't you, don't you have to, like you have to roll it over into a different IRA or whatever. I don't, but you you can just sell it. I I'm, I don't know about 401ks because of the way that they are with the, I think you have to, I think they're for retirement. Um, so a lot of people don't have as much liquidity in their um, equities. So um, a lot of people have to continue owning stocks. They have no choice. So they kind of have to just take it. So it's like, well, why wouldn't we fight for those people? I think we should, but the big issue is that, like, like, how, at what point do stocks become reasonable again? And um, does the market have to completely collapse in order for them to become reasonably priced again? And I don't think it does, but I do understand logically. Well, we're not traveling to Europe. Euro Europeans aren't traveling here. Uh oh. That could hurt business. Um, factories are getting shut down. People are not working. Oh gosh, that could hurt business. I mean, what happens when it like it, it's already hit hit Nigeria? Um, apparently, it's it's uh, hitting a lot of places a lot more than you realize. Um, I, I have a feeling that a lot of people aren't getting tested, so no one even knows how much it's hit, which makes me think the death rate's going to be lower. But still, like it doesn't matter because it's still that serious. Okay, so. All I'm saying is, I believe that as as a patriotic American, especially because we're like we're we're like at like the like three years ago, what was the average for the year? I think we're probably about right there with the stock market. It's like we're it's almost like we the the prices have stabilized um, because like for like can a bear market be a correction? If, if the if the stock market is that leveraged, a bear market can be a correction. Um, but the reality is that we have reasons that there should be a bear market. And so um, that's what's especially concerning for investors. Um, all right, because like it's not just a correction type situation, but sometimes when you give people a reason, then um, it's the only way to get it to be in, in correction territory. And all, all I'm saying is... Um, All right, am I done with that painting? I'm not done, I am like nowhere near done. Um, but I feel like it's probably never gonna look better because I'm about to make it, I, I wanna make it boom. And some paintings, you don't really wanna make it boom with color.